like to say good afternoon and thank you to all for coming to sharing Helen and Richard's wedding celebration. As everyone's alluded to, it's been um, a bit of a different lead up to the wedding, a stressful time for them both, knowing whether it would happen or not. The most important thing is they're now married and they're able to move on with the next part of their lives. When researching what the format is expected of the father of a bride speech, I found that it was something that guests usually endured rather than enjoyed. And I'm very much a traditionist and would hate to break that tradition. <laughs> the first time we were due to meet Richard, we hadn't actually been introduced. You know, I looked out of the window at home and saw him reverse into Jane's car. <laughs> Luckily it polished out. <laughs> yeah. I've always found that Richard is very principled, he has very strong beliefs and I admire how he sticks to them and follows them. He's very easy going, which is probably a good thing with Helen and makes their relationship work. Most importantly, he makes her happy and I'd like to welcome him to our family and Richard, I'm sure you'll take care. Richard is a credit to Anne and Martin and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them for their help towards today's celebration. I don't want to make this too soppy, but before meeting and moving in with Richard, Helen had a tough few years and I instantly saw a difference in her when she was with Richard. She was happier and more herself than I'd seen her in a while. I know this isn't exactly how you imagined your wedding to be when it was all originally planned, but the strange circumstances will just make it all the more memorable for us. As you said to me, Helen, if you two can get through the stress of having a wedding during a global pandemic, you can get through anything. It was an absolute honour to be your bridesmaid today. We talked about being bridesmaids for each other from when we were pretty young. So it's very surreal, but so amazing to be stood here today at your wedding. You two make each other so happy and I can't wait to see what the future holds. But knowing you two, it will probably involve thousands more cats and a hundred inch TVs, among other things. Cheers to the married couple. Everything I can tell, I think both of you are absolutely blessed in having each other. Um, and I regard it as a huge privilege to be here. I feel a great joy to see you, see you both getting married. And I'll be praying for a blessing on your married life together. Thank you for letting me be here. So there's been smiles, a uh, lot of tears, lots and lots of laughter and a few nerves to get us here but I think I'll speak for both of us when I tell you how happy and glad we are to finally be husband and wife and thank you all so much for coming to our special day. We're so grateful, thank you to everyone for coming today. Um, we know especially quite a few people travelled quite a bit as well and you know the plans were a bit up in the air until recently so thanks for everyone for bearing with us. If I can give you to any advice about having a happy marriage it is that it is all about give and take and working together. This means for example watching together equally as many episodes of Drupal's rag, Drag Race as Man United matches. <laughs> So all that remains is to wish you both all the very best for the next chapter in your lives and a long and happy marriage together. So could I ask the next time you've got a glass in your hand uh, to drink a toast to Helen and Richard. Thank you.